All right, Susan asks, uh, so I created a SharePoint calendar that I want to share with all three of my teams. I, as I'm telling you, every time we do an episode, we go through and do recording, there's there's these calendar ones. It's a popular topic. There should be a, an ebook written on just every possible scenario with calendars uh, in Microsoft 365. I'm just saying, it's an idea that's out there. Uh, I created a SharePoint calendar that I want to share with all three of my teams. I added it as a website tab to my teams, but only one class can access it. So the the verbiage here, I'm assuming it's you know teams for education. Uh, any advice on sharing a SharePoint calendar with multiple teams? I believe the calendar file type is e events list, if that matters. So I threw my hat in on this one. Um, I it's funny you you read my mind, Christian, because I'm building out a bunch of um, series like small courses and one of the topics is sharepoint calendars for the real world because yeah. it this is a, a highly um like you everybody asks they want to be able to manage their time and not go to 20 different places but um i'm not sure what her actual business challenge is because you can add the same calendar to a tab in in teams multiple times and in multiple channels of the team or if she's trying to have individual calendars for each channel and then be able to combine them um so depending on what that challenge is there's a solution for both but i like using the calendar overlays and i put a link in the um contents here for how to create a calendar overlay but i take it to the next level and i use views and uh to color code them so it kind of gives me that um, views and categories to kind of give that outlook color coded calendar thing. Um, but that that's a whole nother thing that is part of my course. That's why I did it. <laughs> but yeah, it, any other suggestions? It seems like, well, the comment that she has in here, and this is, um, I, I kind of see a hot button in here and it says, I added it as a website, but only one class can access it. So I'm wondering if they just don't have the right permission set up for that SharePoint library or SharePoint mm -hmm. list. So yeah. what I'm wondering is if she has three teams that have three Office 365 groups and this first group has been sh has the site shared with them, but the other two teams have Office 365 groups that have not been shared with that site. Um, and this is just a good time to talk about the fact that when you create a team, it creates a group, that group has access to the SharePoint site. Um, there are a few limitations, even if it's a public group, um, for things you can't see sometimes if you're not part of that group, if you haven't joined that group. Um, exchange calendars are one of those things. I know this says SharePoint calendars, but exchange calendars, you can't see them if you're not a member of the group, even if it's a public group. Um, so I would probably make sure that um, she is sharing those sites um, publicly either with everyone or if she just wants to share it with those two other teams, um, find out what the group names are and just make sure to share it um, with those two groups. Yeah, I almost want her to say, call me, call me. Yeah. For, for, <laughs> in the SharePoint world, <laughs> you're in the SharePoint world, nine out of 10 issues are permissions related. Yeah, uh, that, that's always the place to start. Is, you just don't know it. Yes. If it doesn't work, it's, it's probably speech. permissions. Right. The other, the other one out of ten is uh, turning it off and on again. <laughs> <laughs> Which in the SharePoint this. world is removing them and re-adding them back into a group, right? So closing my eyes, waiting for a moment, opening them back up. No, no change. It's no. broken. <laughs> yeah. Well, something doesn't work in SharePoint. Just do it again until it does work. Right. It is the one thing that defies, <laughs> you know, Einstein's. What's the Definition of insanity. Beat it I again, expecting a different result. Not with SharePoint. SharePoint's yeah. insane. Just wear, just or wear try a different browser. Different browser. When you do the second time. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Different browser, right. different no. day, whatever. Were you? That's right. Were you wearing the lucky socks? No. Go get them on. Try again. <laughs> is it a full moon? Right. Kind of I've thing, also yeah. found the magic ticket is to try a different browser sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's an actual no. technical basis for that, but <laughs> no, here, here, here's a real scenario. I find that when I log a ticket, that's when it resolves itself. The process of logging it <laughs> in that other system, something happens. Your computer knows, hey, this guy's serious. I'm yeah. going to just correct myself. Right. And then or, or in addition to having a somebody calls you for support and they yeah. pull it up on the video share. 
and shows you what's going wrong, it will not go wrong. No, it's like every time you when you drive your car that's been making an awful sound, you get to the mechanic, the mechanic. it sounds perfect. Yes. And then you drive away and it starts making the sound again. Right. Oh, yeah. In a, in a training class is when you've walked clear to the back of the room because, of course, everybody sits in the back so that no, but they're not conspicuous. And though those are the ones that struggle always sit in the back. And as soon as you make the, the trek to the back of the room, oh, automatically it's fixed. <laughs>